making more money f trump's frugality all day long if you're going to put effort in one of those areas put it into making more money learn what real life-changing wealth is and how to get it and again um i'm going to keep hammering on the school of unplugging because uh, the guys in the back are not here it has 30 35 plus hours of classroom content that i've never published on youtube um this is stuff that is also controversial which is part of the reason why it's not on youtube but it's also the stuff that commonly is asked from you guys how do i make real money life-changing money how do i vet a girl for a long-term relationship how do i raise kids that aren't going to you know subscribe to the woke agenda how do i fix my health how do i fix nutrition uh how do i fix my linkedin how do i have a more socially profound footprint in the world and become more inf influential all these common questions are all shoved into the school of unplugging because this is 101 shit that I've talked about probably in 2,000 videos in total that nobody takes the time to watch. So I've organized it, I've distilled it, I've cleaned it up, and I've put it in the school of unplugging. The price is going to go up October 1st. We're going to jack it up, 20, 30 bucks, something like that. We haven't figured it out yet. So if you want to get in and lock in the price now, you're grandfathered into the existing price, that's where you're going to get all my best shit. Plus, I'm doing Zoom calls on a regular basis. I do Zoom calls weekly in the morning when I get up and have my coffee and I'm just shooting shit with guys. I was talking to guys for an hour this morning around the world. Uh, Lisbon, Amsterdam, Florida, uh, Utah. I can't remember where they're all from, but they're just a few examples of uh, you know, places around the world they're at. Let's keep going. Number three. Um, I'm going to go and shove this one out there because, again, this is a little more controversial, is investing in yourself first. Uh, yeah, if you have a JOB, if you have a corporate top-up plan where they'll match a certain amount, participate. But I think that your best ROI is in your skills and your network. Uh, do you have an absence of skills or do you have an abundance of skills? If you're lacking skills, then taking your time, effort, and resources and applying it to improving your skill set is a wise choice. Another wise choice is improving your network. I, I'm going to hammer on this again. Your network is your net worth. Um, there's some very nice people out there. Um, there's, there's some great people. Uh, but they don't have a significant network. You can try to network your way into a better network. I mean, uh, Tim Ferriss famously talked about this in the four-hour work week where he basically uh, worked for free for a number of Silicon Valley uh, folks, slept in his mom's minivan that he was driving at the time, um, and made contributions to organizations so that he could get himself embedded and infused in these networks. Um, that's one way to do it is to volunteer, uh, you know, get involved in these areas so that you can uh, be placed in rooms with bright people. You can buy your, you know, way into a room, or buy your way into leveling up. Um, I've easily spent over a quarter million dollars on coaching and going to events and, uh, you know, the like over the last 15, 20 years of my life because coaches work. Because putting myself in a room where I'm not the smartest guy in the room and I'm able to put shoulders with smarter people is a wise choice. But I think people overlook this. Um, you know, they'll they'll spend more time researching their next gaming console, researching their next computer, an only fans creator that they want to contribute to, uh, the fuel economy of their next shit car that they're going to buy, than they will trying to figure out a way to make more money, to figure out ways to network better, to figure out ways how to capitalize on these opportunities. Again, I'm, I'm, I'm going to go to the school of unplugging because we put such a tremendous amount of effort putting the best content into this environment. You guys are really going to miss out if you don't opt in before the price goes up next month because each time the price goes up, you're locked in at the grandfathered rate. You want to be in a room with smart people. You want to have access great to great information. You want to be able to be held accountable and level up and be called out on your shit at the same time too. That's, that's the way that you do it. Um, guys will, uh, get their utility bill. You know, I was looking at this, you know, the other day, it's like $42 for a water heater, you know, this for that and that for this and all these little bullshit fucking things just pile up. Um, spending money on a Sony, uh, what do they call them? The Sony PS network so they can game online with other players. Um, you know, whatever the rate is for that subscriptions and streaming services Just fucking cancel all the crap that you don't need, that you absolutely don't need and use it in yourself to level up.
That's why we built the School of Unplugging, guys. I really hope you guys enjoyed that clip. If you want to watch the full-length podcast, you can find that over here, that clip's from. If you're newer to the channel, make sure you hit subscribe over here. And pin down below in the top comment, you'll find a bunch of useful links to my website, my supplement line, books, and a bunch of other stuff. Have an amazing day. Peace out.